Cheetos after dark. After dark. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome. It's uh, it's only ten thirty. I'm so tired. It's only ten thirty p.m. It's like an after hours version of Pepperpals. Kick off your shoes and relax. <laughs> I'm gonna go down into my little register for the We picked a few more shishito peppers mm -hmm. from the garden. Mm -hmm. You clipped some of them yourself. About 50%. Yeah, was it a satisfying clipping experience? Yeah, it's hard to get them because it, it, there's like a stem and then it goes like this. Mm. And then you have to clip it at the base, but you want to just clip it right here. That's pepper life. You know, it's hard. It's hard out here. Yeah, exactly. Is that our gang sign? <laughs> Pepper life. <laughs> People are gonna be like, are they from LA? I don't think they're doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, like that? Yeah. <laughs> like with your arm over your head. Exactly. Yeah. So we've already fried them up. Here they are. Look at them. In the nice bowl that I made. They've been ripening a lot lately. We've been getting a lot of red ones. I even picked a crop of red ones. What's that? Roller. Please proceed. What's it made out of? Like opalite. Yeah, is that supposed to be a good crystal for your chakras? Yeah. That's nice. It's, I've got my oils on. She's got her oils on. <laughs> you gotta put the roll the opalite on onto uh -huh. the oils. How else are the oils gonna oil? This is gonna become a beauty uh, series instead of a pepper series. It's a backdoor pilot. For, <laughs> for, for me doing yeah. ASMR facial rolling. Yeah. yeah. They've been all red peppers for a while now. They've been maturing, and it's hard to keep up with the pepper crops. So you got a, lot, a few more mature ones in there. You might even notice in there, hidden deep down, you got one little ahi dulce hanging out. We clipped that just for giggles and fried it up with the shishits. So we're going to eat them, and I'm assuming it's going to be an enjoyable experience. I, I hope so. What if they're really spicy? Oh, it might be. Now, these... Pro peppers are probably a product now of my new... Ooh. I'm not to wait. Of what? Cheers. Oh my god. So these uh, peppers are probably a product of my new watering regime, which is not every day, but every other day. So it might increase the chances of spiciness in some of the peppers. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Pepper cheers. 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 Mm. Mm-hmm. Tastes different. Mm. It's probably because there's no sesame oil in there. We ran out. But also so the it... shishito tastes different. More papery when it's orange. Oh, yeah. You haven't had a mature one yet. Uh -uh. I got more sweetness when I had my mature oh, definitely one. definitely more sweetness. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have a mature one now myself. Me too. It's a family show. Come on. <laughs> Please. Yeah, we fried them in olive oil and finished it with a little brown rice vinegar and some sesame seeds. There is no sesame oil on them, like there was last time. Mm. Keep wanting to eat that ahi dulce. Mm -hmm. I'll eat half and then you can eat half. Ooh, spicy. She always gets the spicy ones. I want a spicy one. That's a spicy one. If you remember from last time, in order to get the spicy ones, you gotta eat it to the nub. To the nub, to the nub. I eat it to the nub. When you get spicy, how spicy is it? Okay. Mm. Not quite jalapeno. Uh. Sub jalapeno. Mm. Mmm. That's spice? No. Which is good. You're supposed to poke a hole in them before frying them. Why? To allow the expanding hot air to escape. So, uh, but I like it when they pop. Mmm. I mean, I'm getting nice peppers, but I'm not getting any spice. Not a lot of spice to be found. Mmm. Yeah, the um, mature ones are so, like, tangy. Mm-hmm. And this is, like, small, but I've gotten so... I don't know. PTSD'd by them turning red when they're this big, where I'm like, oh, I better, I better pick it. Don't want it to turn red too soon. Oh, it's really crunchy. Do you think of that? Mm-hmm. That's nice. A little bit spicy too. Mm. Maybe okay. the younger they are, the spicier. That doesn't compute. No. And why are the old ones sweet? These are the questions. These are the mysteries of the universe. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to bite it at the side. Your mama bird it. 
Mm. Good. How is it cooked? So good. Eat that. Mmm. Mm. It's a severely underrated pepper. It's a wonderful pepper. The ahi dulce. It's so fruity. Fruity, smoky. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's in progress. <laughs> it's a little bit of kick it's at the end. Mine. Yeah, it's a tiny little kick at the ahi dulce, but not like a Caribbean red. Oh god. <coughs> <coughs> Whoa. <laughs> but it's nice. The ahi dulce is nice when it's been uh, fried up a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think it kind of warms up the flavors. It awakens the flavors of the habanero. Oh, yeah. That'd be so good um, in, like, vodka. In a vodka? Yeah. Like an infused ahi dulce vodka. Oh, interesting. All right. Good ideas. I'm doing some R&D over here. <laughs> well, that was a lovely pepper experience. Got some oil left over. Do you want to drink it? I mean, it's a tradition now, isn't it? It's not oil, it's just vinegar. It's oil and vinegar. It's that traditional vinegar choking that you get in the summer. Thank you, NHK. Mm -hmm. Well, another episode of Pepper Pals Down. Oh, I have had a nice mezcal to go with this. I've been sipping it alongside the eating of the shishito. I guess I'll finish with a little mezcal. You got mezcal, I got this. Mm. I guess traditionally for the shishitos, it should be like sake as the beverage of choice to be on the side, but mezcal does just fine. Mm. Especially with that ahi dulce. Oh yeah. That's a really nice pairing. Habanero. Mm-hmm. They're native mm. to each other. Well, we'll let you go. Uh, that's what I have to deal with. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.